Yeah, good morning and welcome back. I've just spent uh, most of the morning just fiddling around with the landing light uh, and all the, all the rest of the infrastructure that runs the landing lights um, here on the tip end of the right hand wing. Uh, now I will be having to make this tip removable. Um, I was always going to probably have to do it with the navigation light uh, anyway. So uh, now that I've installed the landing light, it's definitely going to be removed the tip will be removable so I've just put all this in spot I might just quickly zoom the camera and we'll go through what I've done so just uh, looking into here I've um, mechanically fixed uh, these two components one I think is a transformer the other one is uh, perhaps a ballast or something like that uh, I will learn that as I go but uh, I've penetrated the spar here for the power side of cables which will be on the same route as the navigation lights fairly simple i think i don't think i could have done it any other way uh, just to reiterate the tip will be removable so i might go ahead and dry fit that tip now uh, and then look at the other components i've got to do to finish off this build yeah good uh, morning and welcome back i'm um, just halfway through the setup for this wing tip just dry fitted it uh, to the tip on the right hand side and I've also set out the nav, um, the little build out piece, I'm not sure what you'd call that but um, it's supplied by uh, Aero Engineering, it's part of the uh, Aero Burst nav light so it gives you a sort of a, a nice right angle or nice perpendicular to the spar I guess. If that makes sense. Anyway, um, had a little bit of, <coughs> excuse me for my voice, I've just been in and out of the air conditioning and you come outside when it's really high humidity days and you end up with the flu all the time so uh, just bear with me if I sound croaky so I've had to build this section out it was just going in too much for my liking um, and I think it's for the better so if you look down there now it's it's fairly without too many humps and bumps I guess a little bit sort of there but um, but I think I can live with that uh, I will, uh, I've just body filled that plus some fiberglass resin and then I'll resin over the whole lot again at the end of the day and um, give it a good um, sand and prime and it should be okay. <clears throat> so the nav light set out I've done, I've just followed this end up being a, the rivet line here and rivet line here. Uh, I've centered the aeroburst nav light and its little uh, component and um, just gone up 30 mil for there for my reference so when I do the left side I'll just follow the same set out now I've looked at a few other people some of them are forward some of them are aft I really don't think it's that detrimental um, you know you're never going to be heading towards someone straight on head anyway I mean that's the idea of these things having a wide um, sort of an arc of, of whatever uh, you know 180 degrees whatever it is I can't remember now <clears throat> but anyway um, I'm happy with that it looks uh, it looks fairly fairly decent on there so if you're looking from aft it um, oh, I don't know if you can see that it's, it sticks it out fine to me uh, Ford it looks all right so uh, I might uh, I'm gonna just <coughs> go in about 10 mil on here or three eighths of an inch on here and just sit it in from the aft side and then fill that section around between that and this when it goes back in so hopefully that makes some sense and hopefully you can understand it with my croaky voice but um, let's get on to this this morning and see what it looks like in a few hours okay I've uh, flipped the wing back over now and uh, finalized the last of the uh, upsizing of the leading edge uh, the wing tip is in situ, but I'm going to finish that off when I start to rivet the wing together. Uh, I have put the Aeroburst nav light um, shroud or support in. Uh, it's fiberglass from the inside, and I've just got the resin to go around here, but uh, I'll do that at a later stage. Got this to fill in uh, as well, uh, but it is coming together, so it's uh, now time to, uh, to pull this wing apart and to start that... Uh, laborious task of deburring the six million holes I've got to do in these wings. Anyway, we'll talk with you all soon. Hi and welcome back. Okay, at the final stage of the right hand wing, uh, ready to rivet. 
Uh, just spent the last couple of days uh, tidying up a few areas, uh, riveting off around the bell crank and installing the bell crank uh, and getting ready for the push rods and the like, which I'll go through at a little later stage. I have also uh, worked out a way of doing the conduits for the landing light power and the navigation light power, which I'll go through a little later on. But um, as I said, uh, I have uh, deburred the 60 trillion holes uh, that we have to deburr in these wings. It just seems like it went on forever and ever and ever. Uh, but I'm there, so ready to uh, assemble now. Uh, this coming Monday, uh, today being Saturday, so in two more days, I have an inspection on the wing. Uh, once it's cleared, I should have a clearance to complete both wings after that and close them off. But the inspection is just to see one side of the riveting and I've elected to do the underside sheet so I'll flip it over and you can view the uh, wing as it's uh, as it's done at that stage so uh, let me get ahead and start on these riveting and um, we'll have a look how it goes in a few hours we'll talk a bit soon okie dokie I am ready to start skinning off the uh, underside of the right hand wing uh, I've basically riveted everything now all the way through the ribs are all done. I have installed the uh, conduit uh, or the cable route for the navigation and landing lights. I've put in the pitot tube and the static tube up there on the leading edge. Uh, the tie down bracket is done. I've put the aileron, uh, sorry, aileron uh, push rod in, not the, uh, or the main push rod off the control stick, not the one going back through to the the actual aileron itself, uh, deburred everything, primed everything, so it's uh, now time to put the skin on and start to rivet the underside. Uh, before I do that, I'm just going to quickly go around and um, have a look at my uh, attempt at doing a conduit. Uh, I'm still a little bit dubious whether I'm going to keep it or not. I'm going to talk to the inspector tomorrow to see if he thinks it's uh, okay what I've done. Uh, I know that's a little bit of self doubt in there, but um, I did use a pitot tube thing. Uh, pitot tube and static tube as, as a route. Um, I was much preferred to have used a solid conduit, but um, I think it's okay. I've tied it off and um, held it from slipping backwards and forwards. And by the time I put the cable in itself, I'll fix it fast back to either side if that makes sense. So back at the tip and back at the actual cockpit itself, I'll have it fixed so the cable itself will act as a sort of like a contenary wire, if you will. Uh, so it can't sag or move or whatever. But anyway, let's uh, spin the camera around. I want a quick look what's going on. Just starting up here at the root end. Uh, here's the um, the Tycod tubing that I've used for the routes for the navigation cabling and the landing light cabling. Uh, I held it in with some the brackets the same as what what you get for the pito tube. So I bought some more of those from Sonics, uh, and it runs all the way through like that so uh, hopefully that's going to be okay I've just tied it off with some with some uh, builders uh, string in here at the moment just to use as my to pull the cable through so what I mean is when I do actually run the on the actual wiring cable through when it comes through I'll, I'll fix it to the side of the spar here uh, in a little bit of a I don't know some sort of a clamp or something so I can't actually sort of slip back and, and, and cause this thing to, to sag a little bit. Now, that's the underside obviously. So the only fear I have that I've, when I talk about self-doubt, whether it'll get, whether it'll get um, have any interference with the actual aileron push tube. I don't know if it's a, if it's a great idea to do that, uh, but uh, I, have, I have done it. I think um, it's going to be okay. Uh, as I said, I will talk to the inspector tomorrow to see what he thinks. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, over this side here is the pito and static tube. I've got plenty of uh, one's marked pito and one's static. I've got that sort of goes in this rib here, a rib location. Um, plenty of room, plenty of uh, length of cable there. So uh, that's that. And uh, just up here in the leading edge, I will be putting in the actual landing light components uh, and putting all that into prior to. Uh, riveting off the the leading edge sheet so uh, let's get this uh, bottom sheet on now there he is sitting out there in the sun drying 
and I'll throw them on and uh, see what it looks like in a few hours. Talk with you soon. Hi and uh, welcome back. Okay, I have just um, finished with my uh, aircraft inspection uh, for the wing. Um, all went really well. Uh, he is more than happy for me to now proceed to close off this entire wing. Uh, also make the left wing without an inspection. So basically, uh, I'm now at the stage that I can complete this aeroplane off, wing rigging, engine, uh, prior to my final inspection, which I'll go through at a later stage. In Australia, we have the one final inspection, which is almost like your annual inspection, uh, where they'll go through from, from firewall aft, uh, checking everything that uh, is built uh, correctly at that stage. Uh, obviously, I have to tick all those boxes first prior to getting to that stage. Uh, but at the moment, I'm uh, crossing my T's and dotting my I's, so uh, they, this aircraft is well on the way to, uh, to being uh, complete with all of the required inspections. Um, there are those that don't do it, which causes some grief a little later on. So look, let's just quickly go through with what's, uh, what I'm at at the moment. Um, I'm ready to close off, so the process will be top skin, leading edge, and basically done, I guess. Uh, fit the wing tip, any of the other bits and pieces that I've got to do, so I'm, I'm more than happy. Uh, I'll, I'll close this video off now and uh, post this through the week, uh, and uh, get on to the to the closing off this wing and then start the next wings, uh, next uh, left wing. Talk with you all soon.